iOS 11 is coming this fall, and it's bringing a completely overhauled control center with it. Gone is the need to swipe right to access music controls, as they now appear as a button on the new single page control center. The full screen control center now contains all the basic controls you need like brightness, volume, and wireless signal settings, as well as up to 18 optional buttons which are presented in rows of small icons at the bottom of the display. Although the new music button only contains play and change track buttons, you can utilize 3D touch technology with a firm press to expand into further options. Not all of the control center buttons gain from 3D touch, but it definitely encourages the use of the recent technology. Some examples of firm press benefiting buttons are screen mirroring, home kit, notes, camera, and text size. Customizing which buttons you want in your control center is easy. Just go to your iOS settings app to add and remove the optional buttons. You can even easily rearrange the order of these, which quickly becomes useful since you're required to scroll down to view all 18 of the additional buttons. One of these is screen recording, an exciting option which is new to iOS and allows you to easily record your screen as well as audio. With all of the optional items removed, the new control center is simplified down to the core seven total buttons, including the so far unmentioned rotation lock and do not disturb mode. On the iPad, the control center is connected to the app switcher, showing up on the right side of all of your recent apps. You can also double tap the home button to bring these up, unlike the iPhone, which requires a swipe. Since iPad doesn't have the iPhone's 3D touch technology, it mimics it by using a long press instead to access further controls. For more iOS 11 and WWDC 2017 coverage, check out AppleInsider.com and subscribe to Apple Insider on YouTube.